What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you're new to the channel, that means you don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, my friend. That means you're slacking. Let me educate you a little bit. Tinder Tasty Tea Days is a series on the channel where every Tuesday and Thursday, the family comes together and we get lit. We sit back and re-rate Wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Day. You go to Twitter, follow me at SmojoSF, make a post, at me in the post using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days, leave an image of your stitch and I'll feature in a video my friend but yeah let's get started for this episode of triple t we're gonna be looking at this stitch sent in by blazing armor now there's two ways we're gonna rate this stitch my friend you know in the last thing we're tasty t days i was a little bit lenient towards dude you know if you watch my live streams whenever we're doing a stitch i'm really harsh with my stitches you know what i mean elegant gear that's a no-no commander road that's a no-no but today there's gonna be two ways that we're gonna rate the stitch first is just in general how the stitch looks and then second is in general how unique the stitch actually is. We're gonna take those two concepts, so we're gonna combine it together for an overall score, and that's basically how we're gonna rate it. But yeah, we got a stitch sent in by Blazing Armor. Shout out Blazing Armor. He said, or she, uh, they, I mean, you know, they said, here's my tasty stitch at Smojo for Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Good job. You did well in the post. You actually include the hashtag like some people. Now, there are a few things that I would like to say regarding your stitch that, you know, I, some things I like, some things I don't like. There are some obvious things that I don't like, but let's start with the things that i actually like the first thing i like is the fact that you actually use the bow there's not a lot of people that use stitches with bows because bows are hard to make an actual stitch out of you know what i mean so kudos to you for actually trying out and using a bow and trying to make it work with your stitch the second thing that i want to point out is your pet a lot of people don't actually have pets that match with their stitches and you have the life little birdie bird that matches with your entire set which is really good so kudos to you as well for that and the third thing that i want to point out is actually your background a lot of people they don't uh take into consideration the background when they're taking images the background just you can really make your stitch look a lot better if you have a background that complements your stitch you know what i mean so those are three things that i just want to point out that are good now it's time for the things that i don't like this might be a long list first thing that i don't like is the fact that you didn't use a mount you know one thing that i want to start doing with my stitches personally is going all out and even finding a mount that actually matches with my stitch i think that would be amazing imagine riding a mount and the mount correlates with the stitch that you have on your wizard you know what i mean of course you can't see your wand or your pet but when you get off the mount there you can see those items but when you're on the mount the mount makes sense for you to make it work you know i feel like there's a lot of mounts in the game that you could get that can really make your stitch be a lot better if you could just find the right mount to make it really pop you know so that's one thing i didn't like is the fact that you didn't use a map another thing that i didn't like is your hat and your robe you're using insignia gear for your robe but when i'm looking at your hat your hat doesn't seem like it has insignia gear on it it might be a bad angle and i just can't see the little liney lines or whatever but from what i see on your hat i don't see any insignia my friend that doesn't match with me another thing that i don't like is your boots uh drago boots are nice vanguard slash drago boots they're nice they're good boots to make stitches with yes but you're not using them in the correct way in my opinion i feel like the dragoon slash vanguard boots are made out of metal their material is, is is metal they are shiny boots but when you look at your robe and your hat that, that's cloth that's like walking down the street with, with some with some with, with some guardian boots you know what i mean you got like a, a t-shirt and a hat on you know imagine walking down the street with some medieval boots on clank 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 but you got a t-shirt and a hat on that doesn't make sense that's basically what i see here your, your robe and your hat are made purely out of cloth you know no type of metal in your hat or your or your robe but your boots are purely made out of metal you know it, it just doesn't correlate with me i think we're gonna add another rating in there which is does it make sense you know what i mean does 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 the gear that the person uses uses actually make sense you know what i mean are they using cloth metal or, or any other materials out there doesn't make sense now with this gear set my friend you do have a hat in a row that makes sense to work together since they're both cloth but the boots on the other hand don't really make sense to me so i'm gonna have to rate does it make sense a nice solid six out of ten just because of the boot however the robe the wand and the hat they all make sense together so that's where the six comes in and that four is just for the boot now my friend 
does it actually look nice yes it does look nice the colors correlate well with each other you got a nice background you got a nice pad overall it does make sense you know what i mean and the, the colors work so it doesn't look good yes it looks good i'm gonna have to rate the look good rating a nice 8 out of 10 now finally uniqueness this is where you're losing points mainly because we see plenty of people using that hat and we see plenty of people using our robe you know not that many people use the dragoon boots so i'm gonna have to give you some props on that one and not that many people actually use wand or, or, or bows so i'm gonna have to give you some props on that one but my friend my friend my friend that robe and that hat gotta go if you're trying to be unique and have a unique stitch there's you, that that hat and that robe gotta go my friend too many people use that you know what i mean too many people use that overall my friend i'm gonna have to give you a solid six out of ten uh it's not a bad stitch the main reason why you lost points in my opinion was because of the hat and the robe that's the main reason because they're not they're just they're they're not unique you know what i mean there's a lot of people that use that road there's a lot of people that use that hat you did gain some points on the bone of boots and the pen just in general the picture all together the colors and everything they really correlate but if i was you i would choose a different role in a different hat that could still work with the bow as well as the dragoon boots that way your stitch is unique and it looks cool and on, on top of that you know what i mean but yeah i do appreciate you coming through you know following me on twitter you know what i mean using the hashtag tinder tasty tea days and participating in the tinder tasty T days series or, or whatnot but yeah don't forget guys if you want to participate in tinder tasty t days as well just head over to twitter uh make sure you guys follow me and make a post using hashtag tinder tasty t days bring a or, or an input or attach, attach an image of your of your stitch make sure it looks good and uh yeah